our Tesla Model Y is about to go through its biggest transformation it has ever had. Everybody knows that Tesla Model Ys and Model 3s are not exactly known for having the smoothest drive out there. But today, we're gonna fix it by overhauling the entire suspension of the car. And to do it, we're gonna introduce you to the godfather of electric vehicles himself, the absolute best EV mechanic out there. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As many of you guys know, the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 are not really known for their comfortable ride. Now, for us, it's never really bothered us that much, at least me in particular, because I feel like the Model Y and 3 pretty much come with more of a sports suspension. And I've driven sport cars for pretty much my entire life, so I'm used to a tight suspension. So, what we decided to do was we upgraded our suspension to a luxury coilover set to see if it actually does make a difference in the ride of a Tesla Model Y. There's really no choice but to go with the leaders in Tesla performance parts, and that's unplugged performance. Look, if you're gonna do it, you need to do it right. We went with their luxury coilover set, as well as a full swap of the sway bars, both front and rear, and we also upgraded upgraded some other components in there as well because we figured we might as well also lower it a little bit so we upgraded a few other little goodies in there as well that you'll see now as far as where we went to do this look this is a big job so and you know that here in Locket Tech we like to work with the best of the best right well for a major upgrade like this to our Tesla we had to go to the very top and we found the absolute best EV mechanic on the entire Eastern Seaboard. He is like the godfather himself of EVs, and that is Evolution Autosports. Evolution Autosports is literally the last and only remaining authorized Fisker repair shop in the entire world. Forget the coast, forget the US, the world. The owner, Joe Ferrante, is like one of the original godfathers of electric vehicles. He's been working on Fiskers since they first came out. So if you're gonna have a massive project done to your EV, you might as well go to one of the guys that helped start the revolution. We have everything here. The entire unplugged kit here. Can you walk us through it? Yeah, sure. So uh, what we got is the unplugged performance adjustable coilover luxury coilover suspension system, which allows full adjustability of the shock dampening as well as uh, height adjustment so we can lower the vehicle, raise the vehicle up, um, adjust the dampening uh, to a luxury ride, soften up the ride a little bit. Okay. Uh, rear shocks, rear coil springs, front coilover shocks. So this is the entire suspension. We also have the unplugged performance adjustable sway bars front and rear, come with new bushings, um, three part adjustments. We can adjust the stability of the vehicle as far as cornering and uh, harshness. When we put the adjustable coilovers on, anybody who wants to change their height, their ride height, what that does is that affects the alignment of the vehicle. So uh, as we lower the car, uh, the geometry of the control arms and the suspension actually will start to camber in your wheels. So lowering the vehicle will actually start to wear out your tires. It throws the alignment way off. The unfortunate thing with the Tesla, the three and the Y, there are no uh, adjustments for camber and caster. So that would be the angle of your tires going in, as well as the pivot angle of your suspension. So once you start to affect those angles by lowering the vehicle, you need adjustments. So Unplug Performance has these nice billet uh, front upper control arms, which you can see adjustments here. Uh, left and right will allow you to adjust the camber once you start to change the ride height of the vehicle. Allows full alignment adjustment as well as we have here are the rear toe arms and uh, coming soon, which aren't here yet, 
are the adjustable rear uh, camber arms, which is similar to these. It allows you to move your rear tires and just kind of straighten them back up once you lower the vehicle. You can put these on standard. They come from unplugged at the factory ride height setting, and that'll just give you the same exact ride height, and you can then adjust the dampening of the shocks right here. Uh, actually, under the hood, we'll show you once they're in the vehicle, you can adjust the dampening and the ride from soft all the way to firm. If we want to change the ride height of the vehicle, we're looking at some tools, uh, spanner wrenches, and we can change the actual length of the shocks. Uh, and in the back here, what we'll change is the height of the spring seat. So this is where your spring is going to sit, basically. So we would change the height of that, and that'll actually raise and lower the vehicle. We can lower it up to about an inch all the way around, which gives it a little bit more of a slick looking stance, a little bit more of a highway. Uh, they, they do say it reduces the wind drag underneath the car on the highway. So I can adjust almost all of this yep. on my own at home. As far as adjusting the height, uh, the answer is yes, you can do it if you're okay with jacking up the car and taking a tire off. You can you can reach these real easily with these spanner wrenches. The only thing is we do need to make sure that the that they're tight. They've got to be tightened because they will tend to loosen up and make a bunch of noise or actually start to move. Yep. And this entire kit is all unplugged performance stuff, yes. Yep, correct? it's all unplugged, yep, all unplugged performance. Uh, we are a licensed installer for them. We do a lot of installs uh, for folks in the tri-state area, Maryland, New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania. Uh, I had a car from New York the other day. So yeah, yeah we do a lot of it. Uh, the, the only issue right now is there's a back order on the luxury system. The rest of the stuff's pretty readily available. Most of the Teslas, the threes and the Ys, I've heard a lot of stories of them coming out of the factory with the alignment off right at zero miles. It's not adjustable. The, the camera gasser is not adjustable. It's very minor adjustments you can make, but once you put this on, this car will be fully adjustable front and back. Wow, so this is not all like one kit. This is All individual separate, parts, yep, found right. on their website. Yep, this is one setup here. This is the luxury coilover setup. In individual sway bar, individual sway bar. Then you've got the front upper control arms and then the rear uh, toe arms. And then we have also coming soon uh, this week, the rear camera arms. So you can just do the the luxury coilover set, right? Yep, but as long as you don't change the, the ride height. I was just gonna say, so what's the downfall if you just do that and and that's it, and you don't do this other Yep, side? we just did one for a gentleman the other day, just wanted to soften up the ride, and you, you put them in at this height, the car doesn't look any different, Right. it just rides different. It's okay. a little softer. Uh, you know, I don't want people to get a false sense of security to expect it's gonna ride like a soft, right. cushy ride, it's still, the geometry of the car is a short wheelbase car, um, you know, the certain weights, you're just not going to change the laws of physics, but uh, it does soften it up enough that you can feel it. Every owner I put this in has said they felt a difference. Unplugged has like a certified program, right? So you're a certified Unplugged. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, I'm on their website as a uh, as a, an installer, a recommended installer. They do send a lot of people our way just because we've done it's experience once you've done right. several of them. Yeah, Unplugged is really the the top of the line when it comes to doing t anything Tesla related. I mean, their shop is like right next to Fremont. Yeah, isn't yes, it? they are. Yeah, they're right next door. And anytime you're doing anything with them, obviously you want to make sure you're using a an Unplugged certified installer to do anything with them. I mean, if you're spending the money on the top end part you want to make sure you have the right person installing it. So what's the process to getting all this on the car? Tools. <laughs> Tools are good. <laughs> Tools, a lift, and uh, some knowledge, and we'll get cracking on it. front motor with your there's your oil filter on a uh, differential there <laughs> this is pretty cool stuff high voltage again never mess with any orange cables on any EV okay it's not just for Tesla that's for for everybody and here's the front edge of your battery right here uh, there's cooling pipes that go in through here this one, here's your front sway bar that's gonna get come out and get replaced by the adjustable oh. yeah.
So for everybody asking if they torque it, the answer is yes. Yes. Nice. So you've got your camber arm, which has no adjustment. It's a fixed arm right here in the original equipment. And then toe arm here. So this one would actually pull your wheel in and out when you adjust it. But again, not adjustable from the factory on either of them. Yeah, the new slow down. That's the front one. The idea with the sway bars is to get the best compromise out of ride and performance handling. So get the ride to where you can tolerate it and you'll get the most right. most cornering ability out of it. So the harder you take the turn, you'll feel the, the antique roll. The stiffer you make it, the, the more harsh it's going to be over bumps. Right. But you saw a little bit of roll. If you kind of look at the, the bottom of the windshield is how you can kind of tell what your roll is. Okay. And you'll see less and less as you stiffen up that sway bar felt like there was a difference between the front and the back well that's because we did we, we set the back oh a that's right yeah, yeah okay yeah, so i'm not so, going crazy nope okay but when you stuff all your kids in the back that's gonna that's gonna come back into play when you okay. put the weight back there because weight plays a factor in the in the role okay so you know body in motion wants to stay in motion right it's the the law that we're, we're going against here so when you're taking a turn the car the car naturally wants to roll so what the sway bar and the stabilizer bar does is it counteracts one side against the other. So when one side starts to lean, it pulls the other side down. And that's okay. why it's shaped like a U. So when this side leans, it pulls down on the opposite side. spring seat is was not installed properly from the factory you can see the imprint of where the spring was seated and when we take the other side out you'll see where it's supposed to be hopefully that one was correct it's supposed to sit centered like that and you can see the mark where it was right wow even from the factory it wasn't correct no it was not correct I had no idea that on the inside of the rotors here, this plate actually says Tesla. It's embossed. The T, E, S, L, and the A is way up there. That's kind of cool. Nice little, nice little Tesla touch there. When you start looking at everything, all the parts, they all have these stickers on them with a QR code. A matter of fact, some parts even have the QR code, as Julian pointed out. Uh, they're laser etched into some parts. Let's see if I can, here we go, like right here. That's, that's a laser etched QR code right there. That is so smart and such an easy way to just find a quick replacement, what you what part you need, you boom, just QR, QR scan it, and you're good to go. And uh, according to, to our master over there, Julian, he said that it's something that actually a lot of manufacturers are starting to do now, not just Tesla, but I, I was just so amazed by that. I mean, it's such a genius idea. Yeah, so if you've never uh, removed coilovers before, um, compressing springs is really dangerous if you don't do it properly. It's really important that the clamps uh, on the tool are properly seated along the spring, because if it slips off, during the compression process, the spring will shoot out and it's under such high tension, uh, you can get seriously injured or worse. And this is your soft, harsh, there's your spring damper adjustment to S and the H. Okay. So that's for U, and each one is a click. 
Oh yeah, yep. I can kind of hear it. Kind of hear it. Yep. So this will actually be all of your adjustments in the front. So camber, which is your angle of your front tire, will be adjustable via both sides together. Okay. So this will actually be all of your adjustments in the front. So camber, which is your angle of your front tire, will be adjustable via both sides together. And then when you adjust just one side and you actually twist this arm, so you get your caster adjustment. And caster mm -hmm. is actually the pivot angle of your front tire. So think of like a shopping cart wheel. Okay. It's cambered back or castered back. Right. And that allows the wheel to kind of flop. And that's actually what gives you your steering wheel return. When you go around a turn and your steering wheel comes back to you. Yeah. That's caster. wondering it is BYOZ bring your own zip tie you know a lot of the projects that we show and the install videos that we show on this channel like switching out your air filters and upgrading them to HEPA even the yoke steering wheel install that we did they're all small projects that they're okay to take on on yourself obviously if you don't want to and you don't feel comfortable with that you can come to a guy like Joe and Evolution Autosports and they'll take care of you they'll get it done right for you right away and you can trust that the job is gonna be absolutely perfect but on bigger jobs stuff like this you gotta seek a professional. And you don't wanna just go to any old place that's gonna give you the cheapest rate available out there. You gotta go to somebody that knows electric vehicles. You gotta remember, our cars, they're not like a regular car out there. Things are different with these things. And you have to understand and know that. For example, Joe knew when he was putting things on the lift that these Teslas come with automatic locks and stuff like that, walk away window roll ups and things. So he knew that he had to deactivate all that before he ever jacked it up. Just go to somebody who knows. Now, obviously, if you're anywhere in this area, you know, on the East Coast, if you're somewhere close to Warminster, Pennsylvania, you absolutely got, and I think it's kind of a coincidence that, like, the godfather of EV here that is, like, literally the top of electric vehicles happens to be right around the corner from Menard. Anybody else find that kind of coincidental that, like, the two absolute best in their fields are right next to each other. Seriously, this is where you gotta come for anything. Even even like the power frunk, right? If you wanna get a power frunk installed but you don't feel comfortable doing that work yourself, that's okay. Just come to a professional, come to somebody that knows EVs, specializes in EVs, and the work will get done right. So uh, I think Joe's getting ready to go ahead and do our alignment so it can be finished up and uh, test this bad boy out. I can't wait to see how it drives. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the ground. So we did lower this uh, like an inch and a half and it's currently sitting just a hair below where it would uh, if this was a performance suspension from Tesla. And you can tell, I mean, look, it looks really nice. Like the gap here is completely uniform. I think it's gonna look very sports car-ish as opposed to like crossover SUV-ish. So here you can see the back tire. The back tire is sitting on an angle. It's not sitting straight up, it's cambered in. And you can see like right here, look at the tires. That is dead against the bottom. This end is up. If we didn't have and have installed those adjustable arms, this is exactly how it would sit if we lowered it and didn't just leave it at the standard height that it was at already with the new coilover system. There's your camber angles that are off in the back. Okay. That we're able to see visually. Uh. So, you know, we're negative, big time negative camber. We're supposed to be at point 0.8 is delta. And we're at negative two. This is it right here. This is your camber adjustment. Like, this is so nice, these billet aluminum arms. I can just turn them by hand. Wow. And there goes your alignment right there. And this car is perfect going out the door. Yes. If it, if it pulls, it's not us, it's the road. So you can see your before okay. and after. Everything was all in the red. 
and you are dead on right now where nice. you're supposed to be. This is on the rear. Here is where you reach in to change how soft you want the ride to be. That adjusts the, the dampening. It'll have like a little click so you can change it. And there's your front adjustment and you can see soft. Harsh. Oh yeah. So we're at six clicks right now from the maximum. Oh my gosh. It looks like a car. Let's go drive it. This, this, this is awesome. Let's go. So we're back with Michelle now in the car. So Michelle, what are your thoughts of uh, of the new luxury suspension and and the sway bar kit and, and, and the entire thing that came from Unplugged? So it is night and day. I know before you have asked what the, I don't even know the technical term, but like, how do you feel the bumps? And I never realized until now how many bumps I really felt on the road. And our roads are awful around here. And this car now takes these bumps amazing, especially Bristol Road by us, which is just ridiculously bumpy. It was really cool. I got to go see Julian at the shop and he had originally showed me kind of where the height was. And um, then I got that night to go see it with my brother's car and I can't believe how much lower it is although I was a little nervous as to how that would be when I was driving it is an awesome height it's perfect it's not too low but it's not too high I was worried that if I took driveways and things like that I would hit the bottom because we all know that curbs and all just jump out at me but it's not and it's such a great height so in addition to feeling like I am gliding on a cloud as I drive the height is a different height too which is pretty cool it looks like a sports car honestly yeah. I think so I mean it's, it's cool that it's not and like when you get into it you're not like falling and sinking into the ground like you typically do with a sports car no I that's what I was worried about I was worried about kind of falling into the seat and then having to get up is a chore but it's not like that at all you kind of get the best of both worlds like you get the appearance and the look of a sports car but when you get into it you don't have that like you know especially for us older people like it's sometimes hard when you get into a sports car and you're getting all the way down and I, I don't know I, it looks awesome I am blown away by the ride I had no idea how rough the ride was before when you go over big bumps and you go over like really deep set manhole covers and stuff like that you're still gonna feel it you do, but not as rough as you felt it before. Yeah, you don't have that like thud that you normally do. I mean, you're still gonna feel a bump, but it's not as rough, like she said. And all the little bumps in the road, I can't believe how many there were because now I don't feel them at all. And in normal sections where we drive regularly, I feel like we're gliding. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, we were both excited to get it, but and I knew it was going to make a little bit of a difference, but I didn't realize how big of a difference. Oh, I had no idea. Be. Now, I have not been brave enough to really test the sway bar. He's definitely been much braver than me. I'm definitely a much more cautious driver. The sway bars totally counteract the luxury suspension feeling and still makes you feel like you're taking turns like a race car. And I'm really excited to take it on a road trip because Again, we were feeling these bumps. It was what we were used to. But man, the next drive to Hershey or somewhere else that we go, it's going to be Good. amazing on that highway. Good point. We haven't even taken it on a road trip yet with the suspension. For me, I think it's worth every penny. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And I, I didn't know what to expect. Honestly, I'm not into the cars. I didn't know how drastic or not drastic it would be. It is drastically different it really is i don't know what it is but unplugged performance you guys make one heck of a of a suspension it's really cool so thank you so much and thank you so much to evolution yeah joe joe and his team over at evolution autosports he's been around since the very beginning of evs he knows how to work on all the different evs coming from all the different manufacturers i mean they are just the experts when it comes to doing stuff to your ev go check them out guys a link to their website is down below in the description you can check out all the different services that they offer for Teslas. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Special big thanks to Joe and Julian over at Evolution Autosports. Let us know down in the comments below what you think about the suspension of the Tesla. Do you think it's rough? Is this something that you are thinking about getting yourselves? If you found this video helpful at all, 
please make sure to smash that like button. Please, it helps us so much. So please hit that like button. If these are the type of videos you like, make sure to subscribe down below as well. And of course, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. And we'll see you real soon in another one. Thanks everyone.